morning everybody so uh, what we've got here is uh, what looks to be a really good bike um, looks to have been uh, very well looked after I would say it's a 1988 Yamaha YZ250 so this would fit in uh, our Evo class and it'd be a, a really really good bike to use for that uh, they were a very competitive bike uh, the YZs at this time and uh, this one would be a fantastic, fantastic race bike. Uh, the thing about Yamahas is they always seem to be a little bit cheaper, you get a bit more for your money and uh, they're really easy to look after, really decent performance and um, really easy to get spares for as well. So a uh, very, very good choice if you're uh, looking to do a bit of uh, Evo racing. Um, it's got the uh, it's got the desert tank, the big tank on it, uh, which ideally you'd want to change, and they are pretty readily available. I would say tanks for this for this bike, um, but that's you wouldn't need that uh, to race the bike. You'd just maybe want that for to look better and maybe not holding so much fuel really. Um, but yeah, really, really nice bike. We'll uh, do a bit of a close up on it, as we normally do, do the gearbox test, and uh, then finally see if we can get a run in and uh, take it from there. It was obviously uh, someone of Spanish origin, I think. I don't know how to pronounce the name, but uh, he had a good race number anyway, assuming it was a bloke. Um, but yeah, really, really nice bike. It's got... Um, an FMF Gold Series pipe on the front, uh, which would be uh, a period pipe, a um, couple of little dents in it, nothing major at all. Um, the, the look of the bike is good. It's original uh, paint on the frame, except for a couple of bits and pieces. So, uh, there's obviously been boot scuff here, so to hide the boot scuff, they've painted this in black. I'm assuming that's uh, that's what's gone on there. Nice little, nice little upgrade. That bit of paint there. Um, it turns over. Good compression. Uh, it sparks. The kill switch works. There's. Uh, a fraction of play in the rear linkage or the uh, rear shock bolts Link, uh, yeah bolts or linkages whatever bearings um yeah you know everything looks good could do with a good clean um i should maybe do that but uh, a lot of people say that they like to see them as they are uh, I'm probably flipping doing myself out of a load of money for making them look better there, but that's just the way it is. Uh, so it's got some rag guards on it. Um, this one's cracked. Um, I can't see if there's anything particularly wrong with the radiator from there. Uh, it looks looks to be looks to be all right. Tops of the forks, uh, the chrome is good, so that would suggest that the rest of the sliding surface, the chrome is good. It normally goes at the top because it's not getting regularly oiled, whereas the bottoms do. Uh, front wheel looks uh, looks good, other than uh, I spotted before. Uh, there's a there's a crack here on, on the rim. Uh, so that would be, you know, your choice as to what you'd want to do with that. Um, we've got hand guards, and uh, they've got a brake master cylinder protector on there. So I'm going to suggest that this bike has been ridden maybe in some rocky areas or woods or something like that. So it's, that's why the big tank will get more, more range if you're going out trail riding. So again, I mean, these, you know, YZs were a flipping fantastic uh, enduro bike. Uh, absolutely awesome enduro bike uh, until 90. KTM uh, took a, put a big stamp on uh, on the enduro bikes, but uh, yeah, these were definitely back in the day. These were some of the best enduro bikes you could get. Obviously, change your gearing and stuff, and maybe a flywheel weight or something. But 
Uh, yeah, so here's the other bits of paint. There's some white here, here, and here. I've had a look, I can't see that there's been anything repaired. It all looks pretty factory to me. Uh, I don't know why there was a little bit of paint up here as well. Don't know why they would have done that. Uh, and they've painted the, uh, the not for the, uh, for the sprocket as well. So that's a nice touch. Um, the engine looks to be in good, good condition. The rear wheel is perfectly round. Uh, no cracks in that. Um, the, uh, this answer silencer looks to be in good condition. That's nice, nice silencer that. Um, and uh, it's got a rear, uh, a rear brake guard on there as well uh, to stop any damage getting to that. And that's a period piece. So that was probably the late eighties, early nineties thing that was bought and put on there. Nice to have these things. Uh, you can see there's not a lot of damage to that. So if they set it up for riding in rocky places, it doesn't look as though they did a massive amount of that. So, uh, right, we'll uh, do the gearbox check and then uh, try and get her fired up. Okay, so she's in neutral there. See the back wheel spinning at the back. Down into first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Back down into fourth, third, second, and neutral. So there's the gears working. Let me uh, go and put my dogs away and we'll see if we can get her fired up, eh? Okay, so just had a run in. Um, runs really nice. Sounds really good, really good. Uh, be a brilliant, uh, brilliant back to restore or uh, race pretty much as it is with a bit of a service, really. Cracking bike will do someone good that. Please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just search Phoenix Motos.